This is level one vocabulary. Question five and six. Alice feels her husband can be too strict with their children, so she sometimes mm and attempts to convince him to give them more freedom. So she does something to try to get her husband to be more gentle or more free with the children. So we have the four words, dissipates, complies, abates, and intercedes. To dissipate is to kind of, to go away. But almost in like a magical way. So hopefully that will make sense in a second. Uh, make it a little smaller. No, that's fine. So the clouds started to dissipate after the storm. The clouds started to disappear after the storm. That's a bit too big. It doesn't all fit on the screen. So let's take this down to, so to dissipate. The clouds started to dissipate after the storm. So there was a storm, there were lots of clouds, and then after it was finished, the clouds start to disappear. You could also use it, fog started to dissipate the next day. So I mean, you had a foggy day, and then the next day, the fog got thinner and thinner and then kind of went away. The fog started to go away the next day. But it's not just like, pff, it's gone. It kind of fades away. It'd be like almost like a ghost, a ghost disappearing into the night. Okay, the next word is comply. To comply. To do as you are told. The police told him to get out of the car and he complied. So the police told him to get out of the car and he did what they told him to do. So it's usually like authority. The feeling of comply is that you have to do it, that you have no choice. So this is why my first idea, I used police. The police tell you get out of the car, you have to get out of the car. You don't really have a choice. But you could resist, the other word would be resist. The opposite would be resist. Let's make that look nice. The police told him to get out of the car and he resisted, so they pulled him out of the car. So the police told him to get out of the car and he didn't do it. So if he complies, he does as he told. If he resists, he doesn't do what he's told. He stays in the car. So the next word is abate. It just means stop. It's another one kind of goes away. We stayed inside until the storm abated. So this is just going to be, we stayed inside until the storm stopped. We st so we stayed inside until the storm abated. We stayed inside until the storm stopped. Storm. My mouth is a little dry. And the last one, intercede. It goes to get involved between two other people. So it could be a people, it could be a group, but it's to, to get in the middle to solve a problem. So the ambassador interceded to try and stop the war.
the ambassador got involved with negotiations to try and stop the war. My coworker interceded when two staff were arguing. So my coworker got involved and tried to find a solution when two staff were arguing. So intercede is to try to join. So you have two people or two groups and they're arguing or they have a disagreement and you get in the middle and you try to say you have to compromise or you have to compromise or maybe there's something we can agree on. And that way we can make life better. So if we go back to number five, Alice feels her husband can be too strict with their children. So she sometimes dissipates. She sometimes disappears like a ghost. Now that's not gonna be right. Uh, so she sometimes complies. This would mean she sometimes does what her husband says, but she's trying to convince him to give them more freedom. So if she complies, it means she ends up agreeing with her husband. So that's not going to help the kids get more freedom. Uh, she feels her husband can be too strict with this, the children, so she sometimes abates and attempts to convince him. She tum some, some she tum. She sometimes stops. So that doesn't work because that won't help them get more freedom. So Alice feels her husband can be too strict with the children. So she sometimes intercedes. So she sometimes tries to get in the middle and get them to compromise and tries to help both people and attempts to convince him to give them more freedom. So she tries to tell him, you need to be more gentle and free with the children. And she tells the children, maybe you have to be good and do what your father says. You have to comply. And that way, she tries to make the situation better for everybody. All right, number six. Although Greg claimed he was fired for no reason, it turns out the decision was far from mm. His performance valuations had been extremely poor for the past two years. So his evaluation means uh, when he goes every year, they have to say, you did a good job or you did a bad job. And they're saying extremely poor. So they're saying for the last two years, you haven't done a good job. That's why you were fired. Greg said, Greg claimed there was no reason. So the words we were looking at, number one, stagnant, arbitrary, famished, skittish. So stagnant, it kind of has two. So not moving. So there was some stagnant water in my yard and it started to smell bad. So this would be like a puddle or a small pool, but this means the water is not moving. There was some water just sitting in my backyard and it started to smell bad. So the water is just sitting there. It's not moving. It's not going anywhere. For some reason, it's not being evaporated and then it just stays there and it gets sort of more dirty and then it starts to smell bad. Uh, you can also use it. I feel like my life has become stagnant. So this is a feeling. So it's the same thing though. I feel like I feel my I feel like my life has stopped moving forward. So it feels like I'm not growing anymore. It feels like I'm not changing. It feels like my life is just stopped. And so a lot of people feel like this, like you get up, you work every day, you go home, you maybe have a drink or watch TV and then you go to bed and then you get up and you work and you go to bed and you get up and you go to work and go to bed and that's it. And that's your life. And you feel like your life hasn't changed or gotten better in any way. So these are both. This one is in real life, like the water really is not moving. It's just sitting there. In this one, it's more of an emotional feeling that you feel like your life has stopped moving and you're just stuck in the same life all the time. 
The next one, arbitrary. Arbitrary equals for no reason, for no reason or random. Because kings were all powerful, some of their rules seemed arbitrary. So, because the king has all the power, they can do whatever they want. They can do any, make any rule. So because kings were all powerful, some of their rules seemed random or without reason. So because he felt this way this morning, he made a new rule, and now you have to follow this new rule. The new rule doesn't make any sense. Famished. So famished just means very hungry. So... Uh, it can be the way I feel, so I'm super hungry, but I'm not actually in danger. And then it can be the real way. It could just be like very, very hungry because you haven't eaten for a week. So there's, there's kind of two ways. There's more serious and not so serious. So uh, I got lost in the forest. And couldn't eat for a week. I came out famished. All right. So I got lost in the forest and couldn't eat for a week. I came out very hungry. But this would be very serious. I haven't eaten for a long time. Maybe I had some water. Maybe I could eat some things I found in the forest, but I wasn't eating good food or proper food or healthy food, and I'm very, very hungry. But then there's also just my feeling. I haven't had anything since lunch and now I'm famished so this is the same sentence really but since I had food today I'm not in any danger it's just I'm super hungry but it's because I haven't had food in about five or six hours so oh my god I'm famished so it's a little bit of an exaggeration of the meaning of the word Skittish. Nervous. We use this a lot for animals. We got a new cat and he, whoa, he is very skittish. So we got a new cat and he is very nervous about his new environment. environment. So we got a new cat. He's come to a new place. He's very nervous. He doesn't know us. He doesn't know the rooms. He doesn't know the house. After a week, after two weeks, the cat will become more comfortable and be less skittish. But right now, if you try to touch the cat, it will try to run away. So let's check the vocabulary. Although Greg claimed he was fired for no reason, it turns out the decision was far from stagnant, not moving, no. Uh, the decision was far from arbitrary, so arbitrary is random, that seems pretty good. So they didn't just say it for no reason, he said it was for no reason. So he's saying it was random, where they're saying his performance evaluations had been very poor for two years. So this is the right answer. Uh, it turns out the decision was far from famished, so that it was not hungry. It turns out the decision was far from nervous. No. So the answer is number two, arbitrary. Uh, we've done pretty quick, so let's go for the next one. The cafe on the college campus with its good lighting, comfortable chairs, and large tables had an atmosphere, something to studying. So conducive, provocative, defective, and incisive. So let's look at conducive. Conducive means to help something work. Eating healthy food
eating healthy food is conducive to long life. So eating healthy food will help in living a long life. Uh, what's another example of conducive? Conducive. <sighs> the room was noisy and very bright and not conducive to sleep. So the room, it's very hard to sleep in because the room is noisy, there's maybe cars going by, and it's very bright, there's big windows, so it's very hard to sleep. So it's not helpful for sleep. Okay, let's move on to provocative equals I, to make something exciting. So it's supposed to make you feel something, something exciting. Um, the dress was very provocative. So the dress was very exciting. Or it made you feel excitement. So I would actually use the word sexy. So you could use a lot of times the word sexy and provocative. You could swap, swap them out. You could also say the movie was very provocative. And so this is trying to say that the movie was very exciting. It could have been um, the movie was very exciting and dangerous. So a lot of things in the movie had very dangerous scenes and it was very exciting and it was trying to get you to have an excited feeling or emotion. Equals broken, doesn't work. So this happens when you get cars recalled. So the cars were recalled because of a defective airbag. So recall is when a company says that our product is dangerous and you have to bring it back. So the cars were recalled because of an airbag that did not work. So it means when your car crashed, poosh, the airbag did not go poosh, and stop you from hitting the front of the car. Um, this has been something that's been in the news recently. A lot of cars were recalled because it had a broken brake. So the brake, you push the brake and the car doesn't stop. It keeps going. Uh, that is a big problem. So a recall, recall is when you bring all the products back. So Toyota had a problem with this car. They asked for people who bought this car to bring it back to the company so they could fix it or replace it. Incisive. very direct. Usually when we're talking about something or writing something, he did a very incisive analysis of the information. His presentation was very incisive. and easy to understand. So his presentation was very incisive and easy to understand. His presentation was very direct and clear. His presentation was very direct and clear and easy to understand. So it also would mean it was quite short because he didn't spend a lot of time talking about extra stuff. He was like, here is A, here is B, here is C. And then very easy to understand. So let's check the answers. 
Cafe on the college campus with its good lighting, comfortable chairs, and large tables has an atmosphere of something to studying. So it's comfortable, good lights, so it's going to be good for studying. So our first word is conducive. Uh, conducive was, makes it good for. So with good lighting, comfortable chairs, and large tables, it had an atmosphere that was good for studying. So it's going to be our first answer. Provocative, kind of exciting and sexy. Good light, good lighting, comfortable chairs, large tables doesn't, doesn't do that. Defective means broken. So good lighting, comfortable chairs is an atmosphere that is going to break your studying. No. Incisive, direct and simple. Good lighting, comfortable chairs, that has nothing to do with studying. So it's going to be conducive. So there's your vocabulary for today. I will put a link to the Google Drive where you can download the page you see on the screen right now. And if you have a question, you can send an email to soundsgreatenglish at gmail.com.